Hey guys, it's uh, future me here. So this intro, I don't know what happened to it, but I lost it. So as you can see, the boat is you know, far ahead of where it should be. Um, but I'm gonna start you off and when I finish printing the just this back section here and I'd started off doing these ones, the rest of it basically. I don't know what happened to the video that I originally recorded for that, but I just, I can't find it anywhere. It's gone. So I'll take you back in time and we'll continue on from, we'll start off from doing this. This little piece has just come out really good. As you can see, I've made the whole thing a lot thicker. So it's much sturdier than the, um, the large sized one that we've built or the full size one. Um, I have to try and crack these off, but because it's so much thicker, they're a little bit harder to get off and I'm trying to not snap it in half. But yeah, I just don't want to waste it more than anything. It turned out, it looks really cool. Unfortunately, along here, we're gonna to have to cut all that off, but up until the edge there for the lid. But the look-wise is, is gonna be pretty sweet. I don't know how we're gonna go with the mounting a rudder and anything like that on the back here, but that might just have to be a little plate situation because it's pretty thin, like look inside there. It's very small. So because it's so small though, it's got a massive benefit of I can fit multiple parts on there so I can print the rest of the um, hull in one go which will take about three or so days but uh, as long as it all starts off all good and I won't have to come back and go over everything. I don't want to knock it out all at once if you can. Got a little bit of a mishap there. Got nothing the grinder can't fix up or a little bit of sandpaper. Well I'll tell you what it's a lot easier printing out the mini ones than it is the big one. Just pops off. Way sturdier. Way sturdier. Yeah. And this time I didn't fill the ends in. I didn't do any infill there. Since it's so strong, I really don't think it's gonna matter. Or oh, so strong, so much thicker. The biggest concern I've got would be, how are we gonna fit this thing out? That's what we've got to muck around with in there, plus the lid. It's gonna be small. It's gonna be cool though. Got much stuff left. It was about four when we started, so maybe a little bit less because I did print part of it. It was probably up to just underneath my finger there. So I've used, I'd used this much beforehand. So it's quite a bit, isn't it? Okay, so I've gone ahead and just started super gluing the uh, parts together. And I'm just gonna do it in like little sections like this one here and that one there and the lid, obviously. I'm gonna leave the back off just for now. It's because what we learned on the last one, on the big one, is that it's a little bit better to do the joints one at a time, just, just do across there, then do across there, then stick these two together. And the reason for that is, this should be mostly dry now, you can kind of wet it out inside there with the resin and the fiberglass tape and everything like that, just a little bit easier. It's just, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty small in there. Like, um, like this is the this side, and I'm, I'm reaching in there with my finger like that, you know, so I'm gonna have to put a pop stick with the resin on it. I'll probably pour it all around in there as well just to get the joints together. I still don't know why this has happened. It must be something to do with the code. Um, I'm not 100%. I know I can work around it though, the little will go on. Um, but yeah, for reference of size, this is a 18 inch recoil as well, like that. So it's something like that kind of size. Let's see how many cats this big. Got a little motor off of one of those outboards. I think there's a chance to be able to get that inside there. It's only going to be similar to this anyway, so yeah, it's a tiny little outrunner. You need a real small ESC. There might be a little bit more room to put things inside of this once it's all done and this is all cut out. I don't know, we'll see how we go. But the biggest issue is going to be the, the rudder because we don't actually have anything like that size. I think that this little unit has the solution. So you can see that they mount um, horizontally instead of vertically, like most of our rudders, well, all of our rudders go vertically. And uh, that should fit, that should fit on there. So next to each other, they're almost the same, like that bracket is almost the same size as this. All right, so just gonna have lunch, let all those little bits of super glue dry. As you can see, it's probably 95% of the way there on that massive solid thing there. So it's all pretty solid. I'm gonna mix up some resin now and pop some in there across those cracks and, and across the whole inside as well because PLA kind of absorbs water. So we don't really wanna be doing that. Otherwise it'll just fill up over time, won't it? 
so got to make it weatherproof well water waterproof um we'll have a coating go on the outside of this as well same as we did on the big one but for this i really want to be joining it together more than anything so So I'll just leave that just like that for a little bit. All of this can just stay here and just um, dry off basically. And now I'm gonna get out of here because it stinks and it can do its own thing. We'll clean all this other stuff up off camera. And uh, next time you see me, I'll be either cutting this out or sticking the big thing back together. So we'll cut to that. Yeah, it's got a little uh, cutting wheel on it. It's a bit low, so hopefully it doesn't um, explode on me. But if you've ever used one of these, you know that's pretty much inevitable. But I can't imagine the plastic hurting it too much. So that should be mostly coming out now. Look at that. Obviously I'll be cleaning all of this up properly after. But for right now, I can get in there, fix all of this that went wrong. And um, the idea was that I would just leave it in there 
so that um, when I glue it together initially it won't warp or, or glue together kind of funny and uh, all the lines are actually pretty pretty good on this one okay so this is all uh, lining up pretty sweet again which is very good to me so we will go ahead and just uh, glue that in place just like that and then let that dry for a little bit maybe go have lunch and then come back fiberglass again like I did with the other half uh, and in terms of sticking this and this together I might as well do that too so yeah go ahead and just do the easy one first Just give it a firm push, hold it. So, any luck that we'll have taken. And I'll just leave it like that, let it dry, and I'll either fiberglass that straight away, or I will stick the front on. I'm not 100% yet, but I'll think about it over, over lunch. Right, so I've cut all these uh, bits of fiberglass out. We'll have to mix this up. I just want to hit go on the camera before I mix it. And uh, yeah, we'll just time lapse through this and it should be set stone when it's done. Okay, so the rest of that time lapse would have just been the exact same thing, but you know, a hundred times in a row. So figured I'd just cut it off and just get to get it uh, done, basically. So the lid is all all done. I just put lots of squares in each square, basically. You know, nothing too crazy, but it's all solid now. It doesn't have a little, you know, you can press on it. It's not going anywhere. Same deal with all the joints on here. They're all rock solid. So. I'm really happy with the way that's all turned out. Now it's just uh, probably time to seal it up properly, clean up all this stuff in here, and like give it a little quick sand down all the pointy edges and stuff. Because you know, like this one here, I couldn't get to because it was uh, this was all still filled in, and I was just doing it with a pop stick down the end. So I started on a little couple of those things, but for the most part, it's about ready to be fit out, which I will be leaving Joe to do that, and uh, he's just been away on a holiday and this has just been my little side project on the side of everything else so yeah pretty cool little thing it turned out really good i think it looks good i think it looks really good hopefully we can get it going as a driver but yeah originally when i was worried about the motor as in like a height problem uh the lid's got plenty of clearance in it so you know that that gap in there shouldn't be too much of a problem you should be able to line it up in there batteries are probably going to be the toughest thing but um, yeah, like I said, I'll just let, leave that for Joe to figure out. And I don't know whether he puts something down crossways in here or what, but, but yeah. I think, he, I think he's uh, got a good idea on what he's gonna do with the rudder. So hopefully he does. 